I used to have a handle on life until it broke when I got this Xbox about a week ago. A week ago. It's summertime here in Canada, and this is a time we should be outside enjoying the fresh air, spending time with friends, family, and loved ones. But there's always next year. I wanna become a pro gamer, and in order to do that, I gotta do three things. The first one being get very good at a game, Halo. Our first ranked match is tonight. In order to get good at the game, I gotta also eat like a pro and train like a pro. And I know what you're thinking, Will, gamers are just fat oafs that live in their mom's basement. All they do is eat fast food and drink map. You're wrong, and I know you're wrong because I, I Googled it. Gamers follow a strict diet and intense training regimen that is critical to the success of a gamer. So with that said, we are following the game day diet and training of a top British gaming team called XL. Do you still think I'm joking about gamers following proper diet and training? Do you? Well, then check out this guy. Just look at him. It's a terrifying combination. The thought of a gamer who can actually back up their trash talk, that is some scary shit right there. On the breakfast menu today, we have ourselves some healthy pancakes topped with nuts and fruit because we are adults and we don't have our pancakes planned anymore, unfortunately. When I was a kid, every weekend we'd have pancakes. Nothing brings people together like pancakes and politics. In the Kodiak cake mix, I mixed up water and these eggs here that I, I honestly have no idea how long I've had them. Don't ask me about food safety. On the surface, the Kodiak cakes look amazing. Like the calories look great. And I put a serving and a half and I have enough for three mini pancakes. That's where they get you. Bullshit. There you go. Life really is a string of disappointments. Bruh. I just microwaved some frozen berries right on top. Oh God, I got some on the table here. Now it's time to top it off with some nuts. So I got some slivered almonds, but the way these things are looking, I might have to join them, if you know what I'm saying. And then last but not least, we can't forget Walden Farms, can we? No. Oh yeah. This is getting my joystick going. I decided to add some PB2. I do a lot of things with this stuff. Some things I can't tell you about. Oh, I just smothered this thing. Should I call my pancakes Katie? <laughs> I forgot a fork and knife, what the hell? Usually protein pancakes have like a, a choking quality to them, which is cool, but I don't think these are gonna have them for some reason. I remember how much I love to eat every time I eat. It distracts us from death. The pancakes are like a cloud. The almonds are like, kind of like little toenails. The reason why gamers have pancakes on game day is more of like a psychological thing. The chef will make pancakes for the entire team. They sit together, they have a good time. It just sets the tone for a good day, puts them in a good mood for game time. And I'm all alone. Breakfast like me, done in an instant, and it's time to move on with our day. A lot of esports athletes actually retire when they're like 22, which kind of sounds funny, but it's very serious. Tendonitis is a huge career ender in esports. Things like mouse arm, which is extreme exertion of like your wrists and your shoulders, which is why I, I don't like to exert myself too much and I use grapefruit to handle majority of the load. Do it, hit it. What we're gonna be doing right now is hand and wrist exercises for gamers. You're supposed to do it five to 10 minutes a day. We have the esports doctor. We're gonna follow along. You ready? Let's begin. And Look at the size of that joystick on his table there. Dr. Levi. Oh. The next form of this I'd like you to do is the following. One, two, three, four. Nine, this is my weak side. This side, I'll feel probably no pain. One, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, oh my seven, God. Seven. This is a brand new exercise. This is called the double cobra. The double cobra? I'm probably gonna go to this one. They didn't call me the snake charmer in high school for nothing. So you're gonna put the other hand here, and now you gotta bend here. Again, I wanna do it from the side. This is awkward. Uh, Subscribe, like, and follow. Okay, Dr. Levi. Well, my wrists feel like I'm back in high school again, uh, but time to get on with the day. Time to hit some cardio. Cardio? Yeah. Is that you with the Mercedes bike flex? It is. XL does cardio two to three times per week, which is great for their well being and concentration levels, which is awesome for winning games and picking up e girls. So, by the end of preseason, they want to get to around 30 to 40 minutes of high intensity per session. It's just traditional cardio, like running, swimming, or in this case, because my knee is bad and I've been watching a lot of Stranger Things, biking. Bike safety rule number one is always wear a helmet, guys. Go unprotected elsewhere. I always say if you have a brain, wear a helmet. 
Look how sick this is. I look like Master Chief. Let's hit it. Is it worth me like pretending to like drive off past the camera? You know, it kind of ruins my bike ride. Oh, car. I don't think my brake's working. Can bikers run a stop sign? Looks like it. <laughs> I feel so athletic. Definitely don't feel welcomed on the road though. The car's like, get the fuck out of here, man. We're biking to Tim Hortons, by the way, because I give me that motivation. We got a downhill here. Time to take advantage. Speed limit's 40. Okay, I'll slow down, don't worry. How can I help you? Hi, can I get a medium dark roast black, please? You stay put, all right? <laughs> so cute. Own parking spot <laughs> for a bike. We do 22 minutes here. We still gotta do 22 minutes back. But give me some of this coffee. Oh, biking is just such a great way to see the world. It's just so nice and relaxing. It's also a great thing to do if you have bad knees like me and you wanna get your cardio in, but you don't wanna run outside because it's hard on your knees. The only bad thing about it is if you're not good at biking like me, your legs are gonna start to burn out before you cardiovascularly burn out. So you can't really up that intensity and burn as many calories. Don't sleep on esports athletes. They're not just couch potatoes. They're athletes on and off the TV. My vastus medialis oh, is the definition of lactic acid right now. Time to go home. Oh, sh there's a pickup truck. Watch out, pickup truck. There's an esports monster inbound. Oh, shit, sewer. Oh, Bruh. They're gone. Natty or not, I have my doubts. I'm not lost. I'm just exploring. I think I'm actually lost. My bum is sore, y'all. Law-abiding citizen who? Remember on the way home? Not home. I think Tim Hortons is home. Remember on the way to Tim Hortons when I said downhill? For every downhill, there's an uphill. Oh, you think I'm scared, Hill? Ah. That's right. Woo! It is a hot one outside. Are you, are you good in that? Okay. You might be looking at my hands going like, Will, are you about to like walk your dog? Are you about to like do an audition tape for Now You See Me 3? No, because when you play video games, life happens really quick. So agility work and your hand-eye coordination is super important. You want to finish off your opponent before he finishes you off. So with that said, let's get to work. It looks easy. It's not easy. Damn it. Oh, man, this is hard. Do I have a punishment if I don't get it? If I cast this one, you guys have to subscribe. Do it anyway for that hustle. Oh. What does that mean they unsubscribe? Oh, no, they don't, don't unsubscribe. I just busted my lip. There we go. Getting the hang of it. Catching the balls as they drop. Yeah! Oh, you're making it too easy for me, black man. I don't know if I, I, I don't think I should call you that. I don't no, know I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> making it too easy for me, master. We have our master here with a deck of cards. He's gonna throw five cards. I have to catch one at a time. And if I don't catch one, I gotta do 10 push-ups. Oh! <laughs> oh! There you go. What? Oh for four. This is hard. I gotta catch one. I gotta catch one. 
Did I get it? Did you? No, I didn't get it. Oh. You almost had that one. Oh my god. Oh! Yeah! Take my balls. Oh, this is some slippery floor. Holy sh! Time for part two of the workout. We're in the gym right now, about to hop into a back-focused workout because when you're gaming, you have the tendency to sit and kind of lean forward as you're playing, which is really bad for your posture and can cause a lot of injuries. You don't want to be blowing your back out in the game. You want to save that for the the championship after party with the boys. Back is one of those muscles that you can't really see in the mirror, so a lot of people neglect it. You don't want to neglect the back. It's a foundational muscle for a lot of your movements. If you want to get better at the bench press, you want to train your back. But a lot of people just overtrain their chest, which just encaves you forward. It's not good for your posture. A lot of people I know do double the back volume in the chest, kind of just opens everything up and makes the posture perfect. When I first saw this exercise, I was like, yeah, there is no way I'm gonna do this in a public gym. The second I make eye contact with any female, I'm gonna get kicked out and put on some sort of list, but I can't skip my trigger finger work, guys. That's like skipping calves. Every detail matters, but then I also realized I'm only a pro gamer today. So hopefully there's some carryover where I need it most. Back is feeling blown out. Abs are pretty sore right now, but as I'm finishing up these sit-ups, my confidence going into tonight is at an all-time high. Watch out, nerds. I'm ready to no-scope you and your moms too. Typically a gamer will have a small lunch because if they have a big meal, all the blood's in a rush from their head to their stomach to help them digest the food. And they don't want that, that they get something called food coma. They wanna be alert and in control at all times. So generally the lunch is very small. So what we are having is some mashed potatoes. And I got some salmon here for the healthy fats for that cognitive function. And then on the side, we're gonna have a salad. Cue the salad B-roll. Typically a lot of gamers will also follow something called the vertical diet, which is an anti-inflammatory, anti-gas, anti-bloating diet because they don't want to be distracted when they play. They play for up to six to eight hours at a time, 12 hours per day. The last thing you want to do is make your sniper miss a shot on your team because you have to rip one, you know what I mean? Mashed potatoes and salmon is just a, it's an odd pairing. It's like when your divorced uncle brings a sorority sister to Christmas dinner. I would have thought it at least would have been like Dorito crusted salmon with like a salad with a Mountain Dew vinaigrette. Mashed potatoes do remind me of old people though. Old white people. I just wish I had more of it. I should have circumcised my salmon. Gotta pull that skin back. Mmm. We got the wild salmon, none of that farmed shit. Fishy in a good way. I'm ready for tonight. I'm gonna take the W home. An eSports athlete can produce up to 400 moves on a keyboard per minute and produce as much cortisol as an F1 driver of 160 to 180 beats per minute, which is absolutely insane. But when I see a fresh baked Boston cream, it does the same to me. So we're all athletes if you really think about it. We have this crazy race car simulator here. I'm gonna do a couple of rounds right now and I'm gonna check on my heart rate and we'll see what that's all about. Whew. I'm too jacked for this seat. I'm pretty sure all F1 drivers are short too. I'm a, I'm a giant, 5'11 giant. This wheel is really moving with you. It, it feels re... Oh, downshift, downshift, downshift. Ah! 115 beats per minute, which is absolutely insane. I was going for like a minute, 115. I think F1 like races are up to like a couple hours, even like a full day or something like that. This is my daddy driving. You guys wanna see his face? No. When Krispy Kreme says they're giving free dozens. George Russell who? Oh. Heartbreak. Oh, I'm losing my breath right now. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. 198 beats per minute. Am I gonna die? I think so. 
Apple Watch doesn't lie. We're at a restaurant right now called Sura, kind of like Sarah with a U and seven A, to get some bimbimbap. Bimbimbap? It's a Korean rice dish. They have it two and a half hours before game time, so let's go on in and have our own little Korean experience. I sound like a robot. Bim bim bap. Bim bim bap. Can you do that the whole time? Yes, I can. Bim bim bap. Yep. How do you say it? Bim bim bap. Bim bim bap. No. We haven't gone, what? <laughs> we haven't gone Korean since we used glass noodles instead of handcuffs. I never know what to say in the situation. It looks very good, presentation-wise. Like, the Koreans know what's up. They gave me sauce on the side, but apparently they can't have sauce. There's too much sugar, so can't have sauce, but they're making us feel like at home. Oh my god, this thing is deep. It tastes very clean, like in a good way. Tangy, spicy, a little salty. Just add a little bit of kimchi here. I love kimchi. Good for that gut health. <clears throat> Burp myself. This is also a great pre-workout meal if you're a bodybuilder. Good carbs, good fat, good protein. Each bite is like a quest. It is just very flavorful. The rice is at the bottom of like the stone thing. It's nice and crispy. It's just a textural, it's a textural dream. They gave us these potatoes on the side and they're actually cracked. I could pop these things like Molly's. I love it. No? That's really close. Sorry, everyone. They gave us these little things for dessert. I have no idea what it is. Oh my god, that's good. I was not expecting <laughs> <clears throat> What did I even drink? That's great though. Oh sh**. What? Each one has 170 calories. That's why I didn't drink mine. I'm juicing it. Milking it. Damn it. Oh, I, got, I see what you did there. It's game time. Everything we've worked for today comes down to this. Gotta remember what Dr. Levi taught me. A well-placed thumb goes a long way. Deploying in two, one, here we go. Come on! Oh, I got my first kill. Wow, oh, that feels good. Back to the little tea bag. There you go. There we go. Almost had the double kill. <clears throat> we want some head. Come here. Is this what Roy Rage feels like, man? Ah. Oh, that was embarrassing. Ah. We gotta edit that one out, Josh. How the, what the hell is this? There we go. First melee kill. That felt good. Man, these freaking bastards are just spawning right beside me. Oh sh! It's 48, 48. You lost. I got eight kills, one assist, ten deaths. I died more than I got kills. So I'm sorry, team. Well, we put in the work, and we did not get the result that we wanted. But it's okay. I'm not I'm not upset. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a game.